Morgan and today I'm excited to do a garage sale dress try on haul May of 2023. So first of all I found this um very interesting dress. It makes me think like prairie revival slash school teacher and it has like shoulder pads so I'm thinking it might it might be from like the 80s or something because I know shoulder pads were more of a thing back then but I thought it was really like ingenious like the way that this was constructed so from the back here there is a zipper like um like so so i can step in and out of this dress just pull it um over my arms like this and then i can zip this up oh, my apologies and then there is this vest that like ties around the back kind of like this so i think it's really cool the way that the vest is it can really um like I feel like this is something where it can uh fit like it can fit multiple types of bodies it can fit someone if they've gained or lost a little bit of weight etc so I think that this dress is really versatile in this that way and it also has like this drawstring of the neckline which is kind of oh my gosh the shoulder pads are just absolutely ridiculous though I think I'm going to have to like seam rip those out but I love like the drawstring of the neckline too I just thought this was such a cool like the way that this was constructed is really cool. Um, and then also if I, oh, I should probably show you how it looked all around first. Um, for all intents and purposes, I really only care about what this looks like from the front because I think I'm going to end up using this for like a reading video, possibly for like reading one of those old, um, uh, what's the word? word? Um, one of the books that were like were originally like school books, etc. Because this kind of has like a school teacher vibe to it, like prairie school teacher. Um, kind of, maybe I will wear this dress for reading one of those old school books from like the 1910s. Um, and the vest also, the buttons on this are like fully functional, which I think is a really nice detail. Like they're not faux buttons, they're actually functional buttons. And if you look here, like there's this big white part and then the skirt and then the vest is sewn on so it like won't ever get like misplaced or lost in the wash etc but also that does cut down a little bit on the versatility of the dress um and it does definitely look very like dated and it has to me in a modern context it has kind of like a costumey vibe which is why i think it would work really well for like a reading video um possibly something like school teachery pioneery so that is why I got this dress and I just I thought it was so um just the way that the construction was was really clever and I was really excited to just take a closer look at how this was like how this was put together and stuff so that's also like why I was so thrilled with this dress oh and next of all I I got this beautiful red dress um I think it's like a special occasions dress uh, it says Roamans on the tag, um, uh, 18 women's shell 100% polyester, exclusive decoration, lining 100% polyester, made in India, and it has an RN number and a vendor number on it, and it still has this fancy tag here that says do not remove this tag. Uh, thank you for your selection from our special occasion dress collection. We enjoy offering you our most exciting fashions and we hope you will enjoy wearing them. So I'm wondering if this is something where the, the person at the garage sale ended up like just never wearing this particular dress. Um, if for any reason you are not completely satisfied, must return this garment for exchange or refund, yada, yada, yada. You may do so provided this tag remains attached to the garment. So I am thinking that this dress was never worn um, by the person that I bought this from. Uh, and it also has these little sequins here, I guess, in case any fall out. But I thought, like, this is still in lovely condition. Like, it's a lovely special occasion type dress. And it just had a very flattery vibe to it. Very, like, 19, like... 1920s late 19 teens etc kind of downtown abbey-ish vibe too like with all all the starburst uh type patterns i guess i would describe those as starburst maybe i'm thinking wrong um and i kind of just guesstimated and thought okay this will probably fit me i didn't try like i didn't try either of these uh dresses on before getting them okay and there is a hook and eye at the neckline which i'm trying to get right now but honestly uh, knowing that hook and eyes tend to catch in my hair in certain hairstyles, I will probably just end up removing the hook and eye, especially because it's such, such a pain to get it through and it is not going through. So I'm just going to bother with the zipper. Oh, 
oh dear, and then look, the hook, it, the hook catches in my hair, regardless. Um, and I probably will also take off the, uh, what are these things called? You know these, does this have those annoying ribbons? Yes, it does, the annoying ribbons. I think those are supposed to help, like, hold the, the dress up when it's being worn on a hanger, but I just, I don't like them. <laughs> they tend to stick out in places. Oh my gosh, this has a very, like, I don't know, it just has a very old-fashioned, elegant silhouette. So I was thinking of like using this, like wearing this dress if I ever need something that's supposed to like represent like late 19 teens, early 1920s, etc. Like that was just the vibe I got from it. Um, I know it's not like historically accurate or anything. I just thought it had, like it gave the impression of that era from like a distance. And so that's why I like, I really like this. And also the details on it, like just the beautiful little... Um, like the little sequins and the metallic threads. It's just, it's so pretty. And I love like the netting. It's just, it's a very, a very pretty garment and a very catching garment too, if I might add. And also I think this headband came with it and it's got like these like goldish details and stuff. Um, I don't necessarily know if I would pair this headband um, with this particular outfit just because like, I don't know, I don't know. Like, let me look over here. Um, where is, sorry, I don't know, like, I almost prefer, like, huh, yeah, definitely not a flower crown, but I, what's the word I'm trying to describe? Okay, maybe more like this, like, this is more how I would want to wear this, because I would want, like, a crown type shape, like a circlet shape over it, to kind of give that, like, new, like, the idea of what we think flappers wore, even if it isn't what they look like actually wore, like what our public idea of what flappers and 20s fashion was, like the headband over the forehead I think represents that look a little bit more to like a modern audience. And so I would probably, if I was going to wear this headband with it, I would wear it like this. Um, but I don't really know if this headband would work very well, like to stay like this or not. So... Uh, yeah, I'm just not sure how stable this would be, like, positioned like this, like, how well it would hold up here. Um, and that is probably how I would style that headband if I were to wear it with this outfit. But yeah, I was thinking more, like, something over the, over the forehead type. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this lovely red dress off and show you the beautiful, oh my gosh, this next thing was a very interesting find um and this was originally going to be like uh, I think $15 but I ended up ha like haggling it down to $10 uh and so I got this beautiful petticoat um and I have no idea how much these things like cost in store uh but I was just like oh I, I definitely could use a big poof poof long petticoat for co like costumes and stuff um and this is, uh, apparently, it's like uh, David's Bridal brand, and it's like size 12, and I thought, like, based on eyeballing the measurements and the size that I'd probably fit it, but in retrospect, if I remember correctly, sometimes bridal sizing tends to be smaller than traditional clothing sizing, and so I'm a little bit like, oh, will this actually fit me? <laughs> oh, wow. This is a little bit difficult to get in because I'm, like, stepping on the bottom layers. Okay, let me see. Can I, oh, wow, it's definitely like elasticy back here. Is there a hook and eye? I'm trying to figure that out by feel alone. Apparently, yeah, there definitely is one, but it's like I'm having trouble looping, like getting it to catch. Okay, I think I got it to catch. Okay, next of all, I'm going to go ahead and, oh dear, this is tight. This is very tight on me. I'm sucking in, and I'm like, yeah, I think this is a little bit tight. So yeah, uh, I think, what's the word I'm looking for? That bridal sizing does run small, um, and it's a little bit long on me. Oh my gosh, I feel like the solution to both of these problems would be to just shorten it a little bit and add a, like a, a slightly lower waistband so that way um, it would sit a little bit more like this on me so it's like kissing the floor instead of dragging on the floor. Um, oh wow, this, yeah, this is really quite, uh, quite snug 
And so yeah, that's, that's the downside of buying clothes from garage sales. It's like I can't typically try them on uh, at the garage sale, so it's kind of eyeballing the size. Um, but it is, this is just a very, oh dear, I almost tripped on like the floor protector mat. Um, but yeah, this is very pretty. It's very goofy. It's very billowy, um, which is, it's very fun. And this does give a lot of floof. I feel like, I don't think I have one, one down here, but like, I feel like I would, I could also almost wear like one of those like cupcake style, like, uh, costume store type petticoats, the short ones over this, to give a little more poof up top too, if I wanted a slightly different silhouette, but I just, I thought this was really cool, it was really pretty. Oh, I think I have, um, let me find one that doesn't have pins in it. <laughs> I think I have this prairie dress down here that I could try this on over. Okay, where is this? The button up here. If I remember right, this is down here because I was like reinforcing um, the neckline so that it would have a lower chance of like tearing in the wash. So I think this has a full skirt so I can kind of see how it looks like over, sorry, yeah, how this would look like over it. So this gives this, like the skirt of this, like it just, it's a petticoat and it gets more poofy, poofy. Um, so that's kind of cool. Like if I wanted to have more poofiness to this particular dress, um, let me take off the, uh, the petticoat to give you an idea of how this looks like without the extra poofy. And this is a dress that I already like had in, in my my closet. Um, I think this one was from a thrift store a while ago. But yeah, see just like the difference of how less poofy it is compared to the petticoat, which makes it more poofy. So that's what like why petticoats are cool sometimes. Um, but yeah, oh, and before I forget, I wanted to quickly check like for tags on this particular dress to see if there was like a particular brand that made it or anything. Okay, this was SL Fashions Women's Sizes Made in USA. Oh, so that also suggests this might be a little bit of an older uh, dress. Size 20, um, oh, 47% rayon, dry clean only. Oh no, uh, what's that? This, I'll probably try and watch this. But in case like that would help anyone figure out like what year this was from, uh, I, it might be helpful for me to actually remember, like to, to mention like the, the brand, etc. Um, but yeah, this was really a lot of fun and I enjoy, I enjoy garage sailing a very great deal. And I hope that you enjoyed this like dress try on haul type video and that you're having a wonderful day. Bye!